This is DSX Human Revolution Director's Cut. I am Glendon the Pack Rat. This is Episode 7. Now, I had to back it up just a little bit from before we went around the police station and uh, tried to get into the building the wrong way um, because all the police then wanted to kill me whenever I stepped out here again. So, basically, yeah. We're just past the point where we went into the police station and talked to this guy Although I want to double check that, that we actually did that part. And if we didn't, then I'll pause it until we get past that so you don't have to watch it again. Or maybe he'll let us in this time. I, I don't know. Will he talk to me again? No. He won't talk to me now. So we've done this part. Listen, I can't promise him. And we can't hack the back door, so we either get our hacker skills back up or do something completely different. So, um, thinking that, let's go ahead and um, take a look at, what, what is it, this here? We want to make that inactive for now because we can't do it. Motherly ties, um, let's do this guy's apartment. Make this our current mission. And go take a look at this apartment, whatever the hell it is. And steal back whatever this guy's got on him. And we will eventually, and if anybody knows how to recharge my batteries... Okay, it saved again. That's good. In case I do something stupid and I have to come back. Mm -hmm. Open the door, fool. Am I getting farther and farther away from this guy's apartment? Was it over there on the other side? Really? I really got to find this out. Map. No, it's going to be like uh, right here, right? It's over there. So why is it showing me over to the right? As we're here, let's check this guy again to see if he's got more bullets. To see if he redoes things. What oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Give me the damn computer. Um, do I have anything to sell? Uh, not that. Not these. Mm, not that. I haven't been using them, but we have stun gun darts, pistol ammo, tranquilizer darts. No, we don't want to sell none of that stuff. We want to buy stuff. We don't need shotgun cartridges or anything. We don't have enough of that. I'm not sure what this will do for me. Shotgun. Mine template. Like we can have to build it. Might be good to try one of these. Info. Let's, let's see. Automatic hacking device. Let, select like a grenade and throw it on a terminal to unlock it. What? Um, that's probably how we're going to get in. We don't have the creds. Always a hmm. Let's go do... Hmm. I ain't got nothing for you. Check with the man. And keep your hands where I can see. Hmm. We gotta go that way, so... It says just walk around, but I mean there is a way to just walk around. Okay, maybe there is a way to just walk around. Grayson, 
like pit bull I've been. Get them to you know, side a paw, side a fang. This city is one big gutter. It's always will. You think this is bad? <laughs> Basketball. Um. Okay, me lost. Uh. Okay, I was back the other way. Wow, really? This is the way to get to the apartments. Somebody wants to live in this seedy, rundown shithole. Nope, not there. Wow, this is just uh, a mess. Is this the apartment? Apparently it is. Did somebody give me the code? No code bound. Shit. Oh, I can't even do this yet. Without hacking, without hacking. All right. What did I have code-wise? It said I had no code, but I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Uh, mm. Login for Frank. Frank Pritchard, but hmm. I don't have any codes for any of that shit. So what's that supposed to mean if I can't do that one? Um, means I have to do the other one, right? That's not too far from her. That's like right up front. So there must be an order to this. Oh. Interesting. Nice gate. Hello there. Doesn't really work uh, very well. You must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh, boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists, it felt like being the scrawny new kid in a prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this, this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions. And every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. Hmm. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local mm. precinct. Well, well, while you're there. There was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay, I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily. 
but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. He might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the... Damn, I'm gonna have to hack my ass off. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. 4891. The agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please, don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. That's all I need for now. Hmm. I got three things I gotta go do. They're all over there. Where exactly is there? Um... They're all over here. No, there's a locker over here. Okay, uh, couldn't get his to his apartment. So we're going here, so we're going back through. Shit. Going up and around and through here, I guess, again. Back to the police station. Toward the police station. I bet you they have it set that way, so you gotta go back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. I still love the game. Even though know, they're making me run around like a chipmunk in a, in a... You know, on a hamster wheel. Getting closer. Or getting closer to our, our, our objective. What's open? You said you're open. But you're not open. We're still going this way. Back behind the police station. Hmm. The alley we were in before. You chuckle. Ooh, a monorail. Hmm. Shit. Alright, back to where we were. Now, this should charge my batteries, you know? It is not. How do you charge your batteries? Oh, do you eat something to charge your batteries? About four. <clears throat> you eat something and charge your batteries. I ate something from. I pressed four and ate something. Okay, we figured that out. I can charge my batteries. I figured. I want to know what the hell that shit was. Hmm. I'll have to keep a bunch of that on me. Now, where am I going? It's still over here. Uh, I guess there's one here. Watch, it's going to say I can't use it. Security rating hack. Hack rating one. Okay, straightforward. Sort of. Shit. I think that's a camera. Access granted. Hmm, that's where I wanted to go. I located the storage dump. What do we got here? Hmm. I read pretty fast, so if this is too fast for you, just uh, pause it a minute so you can read it. Hmm. 
This is about the stuff that happened the night I got hurt. Ebook from preliminary note. That's how Megan bit it. Good stuff gonna be in here. Shit. What did he say? Four, eight, seven, one. I don't remember. Yeah, you can back it up and watch, but... Can I use a new program? Damn it. How am I going to get in there? <sighs> now he told me what the passcode was. Didn't he tell me what the passcode was? Bad memory for numbers, sorry. I should have known what it was. You're probably screaming at me. Yeah, it's, uh, but it's not. Because I don't know. You uh, can't back it up. There's nobody that's going to tell me. Hmm, well, a chip in my head. I can't tell what I just looked at. I can't tell what the guy said. Maybe this is it. And he gave me the information I it's the shit. I need a passcode for this. All right, let's go to the other two things. All right, three things. Like me. I might have to play this back. Ah, shit. It's over there. I might have to play this back just to get that code from him. Four, eight, something. Was it six, one? I don't know. I gotta go into the police station. 
Not gonna be easy going in through the side door, huh? Maybe while I'm in there I can go get the corpse. Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraf Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? I know you handled the critical evidence linked to the case. And I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. Hmm. You're just gonna keep ignoring me you, until I shoot you in your face. Okay, I talk to you. Nope. United in their cause to find a common ground. Damn it. My wife. Should that day ever come to pass? To check the one cannot help the right human millionaire Hugh Darrow. <laughs> what a joke! Did, did you hear? They want the U.S. restricted <sighs> area beyond this point, sir. Don't get me started on that liberal crap. You gonna stop me, bitch? Back up or else. It's the alarm. He's on the move. Holding position. What? What are you shooting me for? Damn it. I'm sort of stuck. <laughs> I don't know where to go next. I can't, without getting hacking, I can't do any of it. Hmm. And I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of, whole bunch of creds to get my hacking up. Or get that hack device. Ah, <sighs> shit me. It all leads back to the police station I can't get into. Hmm. I wonder if we go downstairs and just start shooting people. Go down to the sewer and deal with the gangs. Hmm. I mean, is this where, come on, down. I mean, is this where you uh, can farm some loot for this game? To get what you need to get? buy stuff for this so maybe the pistol is where I gotta go how I gotta go hmm dirty Harry you know I need your shit Sorry, but I ain't cop no more. Just wait a minute and heal. Dumbass. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do things a little bit more snarky. I'm gonna have to go down here and just farm some shit. Hmm. 
take out the hobos. Oh boy, I don't got nothing on him. I'm getting used to this though. Oh boy, I ain't got nothing on him. Oh, it takes energy to do that? Oh, man. Five. Six. Hey. Asshole. Now, that didn't work very right well. It took energy to do that. Wow, that's kind of stupid. I should have bought a bunch of them bars. I was trying to save energy by doing it by hand and, and figuring out how to do that, but that ain't going to work. So, we're going to do it with the pistol. Shot him twice in the chest. Really? No body armor. <sighs> really? Okay, this is the dumbest episode ever. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I can't even go down here and take these guys out. I wanted to take him out quietly, but then I'm going to have to eat a whole lot of food that I don't have. That's kind of dumb. I can't, like, punch him in the face or nothing because you pull, you pull a gun. My bar, my... Keeps... You're kind of welcome on our turf, pal. Lost them. Lost them? Um, that was better. Turn around, Hawk. This doesn't concern you. You ain't making Don't it easy. Asshole. Get out you can punch him out. You really wanted to bring it to that, right? How come I can't hit him? He can hit me, you bastard. What do you got, body armor on? I've shot you three times already. What, my bullets don't work or some shit? Wow. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to end this episode in just a minute. I'm going to farm down here for a bit and see if I can get up to 300 creds to get that hacker thing that I can buy and throw out that police door in the back. And, uh, yeah, I need to figure out how to punch and all this other stuff. And this just ain't happening right away. I need to learn how to work this character with his uh, abilities. Because I can go right up to somebody and I disappear. You're kind of welcome on our turf, pal. Sort of when I stop walking. Run, you bastard! Hmm. 38 crits. Anyway, let's just save it here. 
And uh, I will see you next episode. Thank you for coming on a journey with me. And um, see you next episode.